Hello everyone. We're going to take a look at exploring materials in a maker space, but it's also going to help us with talking about matter. So let's talk a little bit about matter. All the materials in this world, in this book and in the world are made up of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Mass is the amount of material in matter. We can find these materials in nature or we can make them ourselves. We've already learned about some of the types of matter. For example, solids and liquids. One way to describe materials is by their state. These are two forms that matter can take. Can take. Two of the main states of matter are solids and liquids. Solids keep their shape. They cannot be poured. Liquids can be poured. They flow into the shape of whatever holds them. So here on this page, you can see some examples of solids and liquids. Up here, we're gonna talk about the properties. The properties are the special quality that something holds. The state of matter is just one of its properties. These are the ways we can describe materials, such as size or color. Properties help makers sort and choose which supplies to use. So be a property detective. Many properties can be explored with your senses, such as sight, touch, smell, taste, and hearing. Ask yourself questions as you explore materials with your senses. What does it feel like when you touch it? What does it look like? Can you taste it, listen to it, or smell it? Other properties are measured. You could, use, you could do this with a ruler or a scale. So when you think about properties, think about is it a solid or liquid? How strong is it? What texture does it feel like? Does it bend? How long is it? And what shape is it? There are also hidden properties. Not all properties are easy to sense or explore using your senses. You must be creative with different methods and tools as you explore some materials. You can work with others to get to find great ideas. You can find out whether or not it's magnetic. Solids and liquids, remember the state of matter is a property. Did you know that some materials can be both solids and liquids? Their states change as they're heated or cooled. This is another property that we cannot sense, but it is a fun one that we can explore. Temperature tricks. Heating some solids creates liquids and cooling some, solid, cooling some liquids makes them solid again. You could melt ice cubes and freeze them again. Here are some other properties as you can see here. Paper could be solid, white, easy to tear, and light. Styrofoam could be solid, white, hard to tear, but even lighter. Cardboard is solid, brown, hard to tear, and heavy. So when you think about the properties of an object, think about some of those things. Hardness is a common property of materials. Your sense of touch will help you explore it. Have you ever squeezed a fruit to see if it's ripe? If so, you've tested this property. You probably didn't eat the fruit if you decided it was too hard or too soft. Can you see through it? One way to sort materials is by how much you can see through them. Matter that you cannot see through is opaque. For example, this book is opaque. Which other opaque objects can you spot around you? Clear and in between. You can see all the way through some materials. They are transparent or clear. Other objects are not clear or opaque. They are in between, being completely see-through and completely opaque. The properties of these materials affect how you see through affect how see-through they are. Compare plastic wrap to wax paper and cardboard. Try it yourself. 
how heavy is it? All materials ha have the property of weight. Most solids are heavier than liquids. Their sizes and shapes may help you guess how much they weigh, but just looking at them will not tell you for sure. You can use a scale to measure weight. Does the object attract a magnet? Even metals can change states. They can become solids or liquids. Picture how ice cream hardens in a freezer or melts in heat. Each kind of metal has a point where it hardens or softens just like ice cream. Metals have many properties. For example, you could explore their texture or find out if they bend. These are properties you can see or feel. One property of metal cannot be sensed though. You can read about it on page 10. Some of the materials in metals attract magnets. If a metal attracts a magnet, it means that it pulls the metal toward the surface and holds it in place. So that's it for properties. Get ready to do the worksheets with your teacher on the states of matter and the different properties that we can have. Remember, we can use our senses to help us with sight, touch, taste, weight. There are many different kinds of ways that we can sort materials by their properties.